So we will be setting up the WhatsApp Cloud API. The first step involves going to developers.facebook.com. Then click on the My Apps button on the top right corner. Click on Create App. Choose Business. Click on Next. Enter the display name of the app. It can be anything that you want. If you have a business account, you can select it. Otherwise, you can leave as it is. Enter the password. Click on Submit. Scroll down to WhatsApp. Click on Setup. Then select a business account. If you don't have a business account, you can leave as it is, and Facebook will actually create a business account automatically for you. Click on Continue. It will take just a moment. And as you can see, it has generated a test phone number for us and also provided us with a sample API call for sending a template message. You, we have to add a phone number to which we can send a test message and we have to verify that phone number to receive test messages. As long as it is a test number, you actually have to verify it once uh, for receiving the message on this number. So I have already verified it. You can click on send message. And if you check the phone number WhatsApp, you will actually receive the message right away. Now, next I am adding a verification phone number, verified phone number so that any messages will be delivered to my own mobile number. I am adding my first number, which is which already has a WhatsApp account. And you can see it will give an error because it says this number is registered to existing WhatsApp account. So you cannot use the same number that is that has an existing WhatsApp account. So in this case, you will have to uh, set up a new mobile number and you will have to use that new mobile number uh, with the WhatsApp API. So I am entering an entirely new mobile number. Clicking on next, an SMS message will actually arrive on this mobile number to verify a production mobile number to send WhatsApp message. I will be entering the verification code now. And I will click on next to add the verification or the verified phone number to my account. Now all I need to do is to connect this number to Pabli Connect and I can send messages right away. You can see the from number is added on the top. Once the number is verified and added right here, I will show you how you can send a message through this number to any WhatsApp number. All you have to do is just copy this uh, entire request right here and just open up a notepad and paste this request here. The first thing that you have to do is you have to remove all the slashes that are appearing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a find and replace. So I will be doing control F and replacing all the slashes, all the forward slashes with blank. So I will just click on replace all. So that way my entire slashes will be removed from the data which is shown by the D symbol right here. Now what I will do is I will open up the Pabli Connect dashboard right here. I will be creating a new workflow by the name of anything that you really want. So WhatsApp Cloud API. The name is WhatsApp Cloud API and I am clicking the Create button. You can choose any trigger that you want. I am choosing a webhook as a trigger. And if you want, you can send some message across to what webhook. This webhook will work in any case when you are receiving any new form entry from anywhere. So I'm just uh, copying this webhook URL and sending some message, which happens to be name is equal to Neeraj. Now this is just a sample message. You don't have to worry about the trigger here. You can use whatever trigger you want to get. 
But essentially what we are interested in, we are interested to send a message. So I will be using the action step and I will be using the API module right here. Click on API module. The action event will be custom request. The method will be post. The endpoint URL will be something that you have right here. So just copy this endpoint URL and paste it here. Next, you have to choose the authentication as bearer token. Go back. The bearer token is right here. Just copy this bearer token from, from the first letter until the last letter without the quotes. So just paste it here. And lastly, you have to paste the data. So you just copy this data from right here until the last curly bracket before and after uh, the single quotes. So just copy it, just paste it here. And once pasted, what you can do is you have to mention the number to which you want to send the num message. So I'm sending this number to 919926465653. This is essentially my number. And what you can even do is you can just map this number which is coming from the trigger step. So if you have the number right here, we can just use the trigger step and map the number from the step above. Uh, all you have to do is click on save and send a test request. As soon as you do that, you will see that a message has been sent and my WhatsApp web has pinged right here. I will show you once clicking here and you can see the message is right here which says welcome and congratulations. This message demonstrates your ability to send a message notification from WhatsApp business platforms cloud API. Thank you for taking the time to test with us. Now go back to Pabli Connect. Uh, we have successfully tested the API and we were able to send the message. One thing I wanted to show you is uh, that the template that we sent right now, actually the first conversation that you are doing with the customer will actually happen with a template message. The template message needs to be pre-approved by Facebook. Uh, only the pre-approved messages can be sent to any customer to initiate a conversation, okay? Until and unless the customer does not reply back to your first template message, you can't converse with them any further. So in this specific case, the template by the name of hello world is something that we have sent to the customer. And that is the exact same message that is received on WhatsApp. You can create any number of template message here by clicking this button, which, which is appearing here. You can just click it here. And these are all the template messages. Right now, the template that we sent was hello world. If you click here, you can see the message of the body was welcome and congratulations. This message demonstrates your ability to send a message notification from WhatsApp business platforms cloud API. Thank you for taking the time to test with us. Now, interestingly, if you really want to create another template message, you all you have to do is click on create message template. You can choose the category type of the message template. In this case, I'm choosing an alert update. Then you can write uh, the name of the template, which can be anything that you want. So I can write alert update for an order. Okay, so alert update for an order. I can choose the language, which will be English US. Then I will just click on continue. Uh, if I want to send some file, which might include the invoice of this order, you can include the file as well. So in the header, you can add a media file and you can say that I want to send a PDF so select document. The right side shows you how your message will look once it is getting inside the customer's mobile. Uh, hello. And then you can also add a variable by clicking this button. You can say hello, John. Thank you for your order. Your invoice is attached with this whatsapp message thanks thanks and whatever your company name is and then you can write team so in our case we can write pably team if you have any footer that you want to use sent using pably connect you can use a footer as well if you have a call to action you can include a call to action for visiting website you can write visit website. It can be static URL, which can be pably.com. So this is something that here is how it will appear. 
once you create your template message, you actually have to write a sample message right here. You can include a PDF file. So just choose a PDF file. So Diwali wishes one of my uh, message template. I'm including a PDF. So this uh, will be submitted for review along with the message. So I'm just writing this, this variable will be the name of the person and this variable will be the name of the company. So I'm just adding two variables right here. Visit website is as it is. You can see the preview of the message and you can just click on done right here. Once you do that, you can submit this message for approval. The template ID is alert update for an order. Just click submit, click confirm. And as soon as you confirm it, you can see it is go it has went for a review to facebook and it you can see the status as pending review if you reload it it usually takes about 30 to 40 seconds for the approval to happen because it is all automated and you can see the approval is happening right away and you can see the approved message right here so i hope you understand you understood how you can create template message inside the facebook account you understood how you can add a number, get the number verified inside Facebook uh, to send WhatsApp message. Uh, pretty soon we will be adding a new application by the name of WhatsApp Cloud API inside Pabli Connect itself. That way you will not even have to write anything yourself and everything will be happen on its own. It will be very simple and we will be releasing the integration with Pabli Connect for this API pretty soon. So stay tuned and you will be able to send any kind of messages, any kind of WhatsApp messages using Pabli Connect. Have a great day. Thank you.